Now, you hear the man, the man I say, yo, boss him again, boss him again. Uh, I mean, I think bad things make laugh, but when I like the police man, yeah, him is one of the most well trained. The brother, yeah, is a serious, the man that take him eye off of the mark, and him do him job. And him, him, him not overdo it. Him give him a shot, him disable him, and him go out there. And him say, yo, stay down. You all get arrested. They wanted to all of you. If you ain't serving the Lord, you serve that devil. This is what you get for evil in your life. Big up the country squad and the country people, them, all over the world. You are now tuned in to the most monitored vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's country man again. Just I lick you with some wisdom. And I lick you with some knowledge. You gotta take inside your brain. It's a son I've learned a lot. Out of reading people's faces. No matter how them are going like. Them original, them fake. You gotta know when to walk and know when to run. And no when to fall and no when to stand. Viewers, discretion is advice. One more time. Viewers, discretion is advice. Now look at this video. You see that? Yeah, look at it. The man they just get shot, you know. But this is the beginning of the video. From outside. This is in Trinidad. I mean, I tell you. You see that police man yeah? Look on them. They're going inside the store. You understand? Four of them you now going out of the store. Now, them in the store, I rob the store, wanna see, in the front. The policeman in the back. And them no know. And the policeman hear them, the man draw him gun. You understand? This man is a marksman. The man who cool. walk look on them and run. They run well left the car. Three of them. That one they drag. He might drag. <laughs> me I laugh. He might drag upon the floor. Now, me I watch the boy I drag upon the ground to the ass. And guess what? Me get an idea. He might the bottom feeder of the month. He might even make it for bottom feeder of the year. You know me have to give my applause. Man channel, biggest YouTube channel, govern world, worldwide. Countryman, some of them boys have some. Them are some bad, some feeder. Them are dead to bumble clad, bad, some feeder. You are dead to brass clad, bad, some feeder. Countryman, light them up. Pass your front up, look less so you see weed. We no smoke with fish. This are no seaweed. How man I touch them up? Feel free weed. How man feel love ass to shit the way leader from back to them ban. Hurry your breed them now in a mile and check it as you see speed as she. Give me the front or you think me lead baby ban. Nine months ago she get breed. Them are some bottom feeder. You are a dead to bumble clad. Bottom feeder. On the ground, I see the policeman come out, marksman, and look how easy the man come out, and look there, the man come, and arrest him, tell him, lay down on your stomach, you understand, he rest him foot on him, and he might wait till other police come, good police work, this is all police, I'm not lying, when you see this, look on them here, you see them in other store, cheer them, and the policeman look to the far back. Policeman spot them in there. See them all go for the money there. See the youth in the red shirt come out. Whop! One right in and blow out it. The policeman. <laughs> we are laugh. Watch that. The policeman come out. And him go out there. And the policeman arrest him properly. 
this is good police work. May I tell you, uh, the Trinidad, the Trinidad government should give this policeman a metal fuendo. And may I tell you, them bottom feeder there, look how them come in and them run like a thief. Number one, them desperate, them park up them car right there, so. You understand? Right at the store, you know. You see what I'm saying? And them lies to play everything. Now, if me was the police who is doing this case, you see the boy will get shot in and hit. Yo, me are turning me now in farmer, you know. You see when me done with him? Him have to tell me where the rest of the boy them there, you know. Car, listen. I go, we are go for them. And this is a good job, good work. Boy, I talk to my bridge in Trinidad, and the man tell me, say, yo, countryman, Trinidad gone mad. And I him send me this. And I say, yo, I have to give a commentary on it. I have to talk about it. I just did a video on Jamaica with, with the police, police killings. And I mentioned Trinidad also. Now, with Trinidad, Trinidad is the country of mass shootings. And them invent that. Listen, them have nearly 600 murder at one at 1.5 million people. So they're half the population of Jamaica. You understand? And they're averaging 600 or murder or more. So, you know, for the year, if they were Jamaica size, they would have averaged 12, 1,500, anywhere from 12 to 1,500 murder. And I'm quite sure the statistics in terms of police killing in, in Trinidad is pretty alarming too. Where, as I know, Jamaica has more police killing than any other country in the world. But Trinidad is up there. Uh, there is a little bit of difference with Jamaica and Trinidad. And with, with, with Trinidad, to me, from what I see, from dealing with Trinidad and all these other countries, you know, uh, Trinidad, there, there's no order. There is no order. You know, I could give you an example. I was talking to my virgin this morning, sent me a boss. And, you know, he's explaining to me, because we're discussing the video I made about the 250 people police killed. And 50% of them now have no gun. But anyways, we were talking about stuff like this. And he was saying that in his neighborhood where he lives, a working neighborhood in St. Mary, somewhere in St. Mary, uh, it is a community thing. Because if, say, police are a certain road, police are a certain road person, try to do anything, it would be a community thing to get you out of the community, you know, or to get you arrested, you know, or, or, or to get some justice. So, uh, you can't just go into, or uh, because you are part of a community, violate certain people, because it would be, you know, detrimental. Now, in Trinidad, that's a little bit different. Whereas, it, it, it used to be like that. Even one time in Trinidad, then used to send for Jamaican eat men to come to work for them. Now, in Trinidad now, every man is a done. And once you are done, you have a flex and do your thing, and then other man will come for you. And, and, and that's just how it is in Trinidad. It's a little bit more uh, beer face and a little bit more erratic. And, and, and that has structured 
you know, we're as Jamaica, it's a little bit more structured. We're, you know, the man them organize and a group of man I go for the man they like, you know. It's like that. I'm not trying to advocate crime at all. I just want to try and point out the difference. Even the Rockford thing, you noticed is more than one man come down there. It's an organized uh, gang that went and did those killings. And, and you could see that throughout Jamaica, whereas in Trinidad, it's a little bit more erratic. The biggest down are dead. You know, them kill Django, them kill this, them kill that, them kill uh, World Boss, them kill, I don't know who they don't kill. So if they can kill World Boss, one of the richest done, and them can kill Sandman. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, they'll kill anybody in Trinidad. And, you know, that's the difference between Trinidad and Jamaica. And Trinidad is similar to a lot of other Caribbean islands where there is really no order. It's kind of like lawless, you understand? You can't talk about, yo, you have a this and that and you have a dead. Another thing about Trinidad, and I hate bringing this up, but it is the reality in Trinidad. The all the killings, 99% of the killings is in the black community. You do have things happen in the Indian community, but you don't see the Indian and you don't see the Syrians then and the white people them killing off each other. And there is a thing in the black community where they're blaming uh, the Syrians say, yo, are the Syrians, they might do this, are the Syrians, they might do that, are the Indian, they might do this, are the Indian, they might do that. No, we're not a pussy. We're not a big pussy. We're not a big ton of bomb itself. You understand? Worthless. The black people, them. They're muckless. And I don't give a fuck. Same thing as Jamaica and St. Lucia. You understand? I wanna do it to myself. Wanna get a little bit of money. Wanna buy this big bomber cloud chain. I act like wanna rich. And then wanna bad mind each other. Till wanna find anything to fight over. If me say six, wanna have a blood is a war. If a man says seven, eight, nine, ten, a war. Wanna know six, so wanna have big pussy. Whereas the Indian, the Syrian, and the white people, them. Them stay so and turn so back. Them go so have them business, them have them good job, them have them education, them kids in a good school, them in a gated community. While Uno in a the ghetto, you understand, the six, the seven, the eight, down in a Trinidad, I kill off Uno one another. I've never seen a place where so much young reggae artists dead in other world. Not even Jamaica, our reggae was invented in Jamaica to ask that. And uh, Trinidad, them turned it into murder music. Another thing when we notice at Trinidad, and I want to know, because everything we are talk right here is facts. If you notice in Trinidad, there are enough Jamaican artists going there to do shows. And none of the Trinidad artists them are do show in a Trinidad because them cannot do a show. If them do a show, it will get shot up or man of a dead. It's the Prince Wani runway. You understand? See them try to kill K-Man, kill off him friend name where him come from Barbados. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on. And that's how Trinidad is. Trinidad it is rich badness because I'm gonna tell you all another thing about Trinidad. Trinidad have a lot of programs for the community from what I realize and a lot of the money government get it goes into the community but you have these community dance who said they're in charge of 
uh, fixing up the neighborhood. They get a uh, contract to paint buildings, to fix the road, to do this, to do that, to build pools, to do different things. And they're not doing it. They're not the money and use it to buy guns and drugs. You understand? But Trinidad, uh, the system in terms of social social programs are uh, interjected into the communities them have things there but because of the <coughs> the setup where uh it's not contractors professional contractors coming in to do these jobs you know and the man them in the neighborhood where the gang them that and even the big man them who them call the gang them have them contractor will work with them so the contractor will work with the gang them is a part of the six and the seven gang uh, whoever and that's the problem in Trinidad you see what I'm saying so Trinidad it is suffering from a thing uh, I don't never said deja vu because you them have money them have social programs but at the same time it's like the youths them them not pre them thing there where them are pre a big chain and this and that and drugs because Trinidad is very unique also Venezuela is 8 miles so every youth now you know from them are groping and them want to get rich in and them know say you is a Venezuela and link them want and this and that and and then you have so much role models who are selling drugs and who get rich from Dolce Chadigo right back down to Sandman to World Boss to this to that to that it's the same thing so yeah Trinidad is very unique last but not least before I go, I want to big up the police man yeah, in another video yeah. Boss man, you do a good job. I wouldn't mind giving you an interview. If you watch this video, link Countryman and let me give you an interview dada. If you get a Grammy for this. Listen, good work. And one more time, listen. My name is Countryman. Don't forget to like and subscribe.